Tonight, the FBI telling us scams are on the rise across the country. Americans lost more than a billion dollars to scams in just the beginning of this year. Yeah, Bianca Holman joins us here tonight to break down the FBI's new campaign to try to help people keep more money in their pockets. Yeah, hey, good evening, you guys. So this is still just wrecking havoc on people's lives. And we just got information from the FBI this week that we're sharing with our viewers. Uh, but it's a lot of money. So it's about $1.6 billion that people have been scammed from. And so they want to put out tips to help people to make sure that you're you're not frauded out of your money. And actually, we had a ABC 11 viewer that reached out to us today about an experience that she experienced this morning. So here's her story and ways to protect yourself. It's painful. You know, it's heartbreaking. Lashana Lunsford is from Durham and was scammed. As a mother of one and also her grandmother's main caretaker, she's out $350 after getting this email. Lunsford said she was familiar with Norton LifeLock Security, so she called the number listed to unsubscribe and make sure she didn't have a bill. He was, you know, taking step by step with me because I didn't understand and I don't deal with Cash App. The scammer sent her a request on Cash App, a peer-to-peer -peer money transfer platform. It didn't dawn on me. I said, wait a minute, y'all just took my money and I need you to put it back. We called that number listed in the email. Technology specialists tell us criminals are getting more savvy and working faster to cover their tracks. So they're piggybacking off credible, credible companies. Um, obviously, a sense of urgency is, uh, is always a huge kind of like, whoa, 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 let's pump the brakes here. The FBI wants people to take a beat before reacting to any unsolicited phone calls, emails, or door-to-door -door services. Criminals use urgency and fear, promising monetary gains, companionship, or even a job opportunity. They do this to force victims to take quick action. First, search the person and confirm a business with their website, especially if they're claiming to be a credible, popular company. There might be other people online warning about the business or individual running a scam. And never give or send unverified people or businesses any personal information, money, or even gift cards. You know, taking it off offline or, or, or onto a peer-to-peer -peer, uh, commerce platform such as Venmo, Cash App. We've been seeing an, an, an increase in people trying to use Apple Pay. Huge red flags. While Lunsford hopes to get her money back, she wants to warn others. Check into these things. You know, be more mindful. So very, very frustrating. And if you fall victim to these types of scams, you're encouraged to contact our local Better Business Bureau, our local FBI office, and report that incident to your bank and also IC3.gov. We'll have that listed on our website as well. And matter of fact, you guys, when we called that number, mm -hmm. there was like a Verizon message that came up, mm -hmm. an automated message, so no one picked up on the other line. Mm -hmm. And then we also emailed the email address that was listed in her email. It bounced back. Wow. Mm. Scammers are crafty, for sure. Yeah. And yeah. very busy. Yeah.